Good morning, Bel Air. It is Friday, May 29th, 2020, the last Friday of May, the last Friday of the spring semester 2020, and a semester we'll never forget. A um, couple of quick announcements here. Uh, one is that uh, there's been some uh, follow ups around Cardinal Crew Leader emails, and those went out, I believe, late last night or very early this morning. So check your email so that you can see those announcements. Uh, Again, we had the largest pool of candidates that we've ever had before, so it was tough making our selections, um, but we feel great about the crew that we chose, and we're just proud of everybody for uh, applying. It shows how important it is to you um, to stay connected and to uh, help our freshmen have a smooth transition into Bel Air. Next question is speaking of freshmen and sophomores and juniors, so grades 9, 10, and 11, you're wondering, when am I going to get to come and sign up and get my locker stuff and, and check in my books in and do all that stuff? So um, we are actually going to uh, publicize this afternoon. So it'll go out before dinner this evening is um, an online tool where you will be able to sign up for an appointment. They will be every 15 minutes and it'll be Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So June 3rd and 4th and then the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of the following week. So June 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th. You'll sign up for, uh, for an appointment for 15 minutes. You'll check in. Uh, all the directions are there, but you'll check in. An adult will take you to your locker. You'll get all that taken care of. Athletic locker, turn in your textbooks, and you're set to go. You will keep your laptops through the summer, or at least through June, if not the whole summer. So take a look for that, but we'll publicize that. Get that out to all, to all of our 9th through 11th graders. Um, it is Friday, and we're heading into a weekend. Um, as we've been doing all week, showing some highlight clips. Today's uh, accumulation of clips is for our weathercaster, Joey. So check those out. Um, and again, I hope that uh, you get a smile from them. I know. That's my cat, Henry. And um, so we'll find him in a minute. But uh, I hope they brought you a smile. I know they did for me in making them for you. And uh, let's stay connected. Continue to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Um, Stay physically distant, but not social. And uh, those are our morning announcements. Thank you and enjoy the day. All right, this time we're gonna go ahead and hear our weather report. Thank you, Michael. This is Joey with the weather. Let me take you through our three-day forecast right here. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday, it looks like we're gonna have a high of about, it's partly cloudy each of these three days. As you can see, you can partly see that. Go ahead, Joey. Thank you, Michael. This is Joey with your weather forecast. I'm going to take you through our three-day forecast here. What you're going to see, you're going to have to look close. Is we got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's the first three days of this week. We're going to look over here, and you're going to look closely. You're going to see it's going to be partly cloudy. Over here, we get a little border around that sun because it's borderline sunny. But then that sun comes out. And over here on Wednesday, we're bursting with sunny, lots of yellow right over there. Yes, and look at this on Wednesday. 70 and a 51 for the low. I'm giving this thumbs up, thumbs up, and thumbs up. Now last week I made it known I wasn't too happy about the latter part of the week. And y'all asked me to put in a request. Well, I put in a request, and when a request is made, they best abide. Go ahead, Joey. Thank you, Michael. Let's go ahead and take you through our three-day weather forecast right here. You're going to see we've got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You look closely here at Monday, you're going to see that it's partly cloudy. Tuesday is going to be partly cloudy. Are you starting to see a pattern? And then Wednesday, we've got what you might just go ahead and see is some raindrops and some lightning because there's supposed to be thunderstorms come this Wednesday. And I was discussing this with a friend of mine, Maud, and I said, you know, Maud, it's complicated. There's a lot of ins, a lot of outs, a lot of what have yous. Joey's in it with you. So I'm going to be right there, and together we're going to make our way through this little adventure to be kind. So please welcome our two new broadcasters uh, to the team. Uh, let me go ahead and turn it over for our weather update. Good morning, Cardinals. I'd like to thank Mr. McDonough for having us. Uh, we'll start off with our Monday forecast. We have a high of 84 and a low of 69. It's going to be partly cloudy with incoming swarms of locusts. So say goodbye to your crops. Ah, thank you, Norm. On Wednesday, there's a high of 86 and a low of 61. 
wear your sunglasses because the sky is going to unfold like a scroll. Hey, Nor, do you want to hang out if you're not eaten by the Demon King Pieman? That's fine by me as long as we're six feet apart. Back to you, Mr. McDonough. Every Monday we try to get our weather forecast. Let me go ahead and turn it over to Joey. Go ahead and take you through what our three days look like, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm just going to jump right to the bad news, everybody. These high temperatures here. Mm, well, it's May, so I guess we should be used to it by now. But uh, they're going to be 88, 86, 88, just climbing. Just making that slow, steady climb up into the nines and... That's just no good in my book. But we're going to start out partly cloudy. We talked about that before, and the pattern always seems to develop. But late Tuesday and then into Wednesday, we're going to have bursts of sunlight. You're going to see a lot of that on Wednesday. And I just tell you, if you're a runner, you like to get out there and move, that dew point's going to be high. So get out early. I was talking with a friend not too long ago about the Houston weather because... It is my vocation. And what we talked about was how the weather can go up and down. It can be a little unpredictable. And she summed it up by just saying, Joey, it's like when we go bowling. It's gutters and strikes, gutters and strikes. What we're gonna see is tomorrow, mostly sunny through the morning. It's going to get up to 81, which is okay in my book. Now, we just want to avoid that 7-10 split. Maybe we'll get that third strike. And we'll get that turkey. Now, some of you may say, Joey, how come you only give us three days? Be patient is what I would say. Three is plenty. Gutters and strikes, my friend. Gutters and strikes. Back to you, Michael. With that, it is Monday, so which means we have a weather segment. Our weather segment's a little bit different today. It is brought to us by some Bel Air students, and it's not only just a segment, but it's a little bit of a science lesson as well. So let's go ahead and turn it over to them. Good morning, Bel Air. I'm Caroline Mackin. I'm Celeste Mackin, and today we are going to be predicting the weather. But we are going to do this by making a DIY storm predictor. The storm predictor was first used in the 18th century by sailors. A famous ship that the storm predictor traveled on is the HMS Beagle, which brought Darwin to the Galapagos Islands where he developed his theory of evolution. And there you have it, we have our storm predictor. Okay, in general, if the liquid is cloudy, then it's cloudy outside. And if it's clear, that means it's a bright sunny day. Small dots means humidity, while large dots mean that there are storms in the area. Let's see if we can use this to predict the weather. Hey, Catherine. Hi, I'm Catherine Mackin. I'm in the Cardinal class of 2025. Well, it looks clear with some small dots in it. So that would mean that it should be a sunny day with humidity. Looks like we just predicted the weather. Okay, cards, thanks for watching. Looks like it's gonna be a sunny week. Back to you, Mr. McDonough. Science. Okay, I've got the go ahead and we're set to pop. You may not know it, but I come from a long line of frontiersmen. And so when I approach something as serious as the weather, I wanna make sure it's accurate. Always something joyous, something full of splendor. You heard me say strikes and getters, strikes and getters. But uh, as we draw this to a close, I want to thank you for your patience with me as we've uh, made our way through the ups and downs of Houston weather here for Bel Air High School. Now what the future brings, we're just going to have to wait and see. I never picture myself as a three-piece suit type, but I've enjoyed our time together. With that, I'm going to turn it back over to Michael.